So, Shrek was a good movie, and then they made a bunch of games. There's way more than that, but that's all I own. So here's the first one, based on the first movie, a launch title exclusive to the original Xbox back in 2001. Now, there's a lot to take in here. Firstly, rated T for teen. Game based on a family movie. Second, all new environments plus new characters designed by Todd McFarlane, the guy who created Spawn. Years ago, somebody brought me 30 seconds of this film they were walk working on that was called Shrek. And I saw 30 seconds of it and I go, <gasps> Spawn was really popular in the 90s and had a big presence in video games here and there. Fun fact, in the Super Nintendo Spawn game, the very first level, if you just stand still at the starting point, a waterfall of enemies will jump towards you, miss, and infinitely fall to their deaths. It just keeps going. <laughs> well, let's pop this Shrek game in. You know who I love? That one reviewer that says, let's pop this game in, and he throws the game into the console in a funny way. You know the one I'm talking about. Oh, wow. This is one of those old video games where you can play instantly without having to sign up or install anything. Wow. Who made this? Dice? Yeah, the Battlefield Battlefront Mirror's Edge dice, really. And here we are at the title screen. Off to a great start. Let me type in my name. In the streets, they call me Shrekil O'Neill. Oh, not enough letters. Shrek, something terrible has happened. Merlin has captured Princess Fiona. But you can rescue her by going on a quest! The story mode does not follow the movie. Instead, the man in the mirror tells you Merlin, who appeared in the third movie, is terrorizing a village of color swap clones. Shrek must stop him by doing good deeds so that the fog barrier around Merlin's castle vanishes. And then Shrek must beat up Merlin. Okay, nothing in this game feels like Shrek, even down to the controls. Shrek is a huge lumbering ogre, yet he rivals the mightiest of Olympians. I did not speed up this footage. Look how fast this fucker bucks it. He makes Sonic the Hedgehog look like Chronic the Hedgehog. He's going faster than Walt Flanagan's dog. And watch him pull donuts. His speed compares to Big Rig's Ogre the Shrek racing. Not just for sprinting, but jumping. He can wall jump off anything. It's redonkulous. Shrek is unstoppable. Now what else is he capable of? Farting and burping. You can stun your enemies by expelling gas upon them. Try it out! Though if you get the chili pepper power up, you get exploding farts. Now try lighting your gas cloud on fire. <laughs> Excellent! Metal. But all Shrek really needs are his own two hands. You can pick up people and throw enemies, or just little chickens. <laughs> yeah! Take that! Kick them! Mm. Yeah! Fuck them! Fuck them in the ass, fucker! Ooh. The big bad wolf, pick him up, give him a kick in the rear. Little sheeps, kick them. Bo Peep, up against the wall. Guard your grill and knuckle up. I must note, no one dies in this game no matter how much you pummel them. They just keep getting back up. Truly an inspiration. Eventually, these guys get fed up and group together to kill you. Ow, fuck. I'm sorry. No, please. I didn't mean it. Ow. Being a menace to society was fun, but what's the gameplay like? Think Mario 64. Pick a level to explore and choose one of several missions to complete. Traditionally, the first level of every platforming game is always the happiest blue sky, green grass stage before things get serious. I introduce you to Shrek's first non-tutorial stage. <laughs> Wow, this place fucking sucks. Welcome to Euro Disneyland, kids. This is where my animation dreams died. None of the environments besides the swamp are from the films. You got a farm area, that that's nice. A cramped dark castle interior, a dark cemetery, a dark cramped sewer level, oh boy. A castle exterior, oh thank god, sunlight. <laughs> Other than Shrek, his swamp, and the man in the mirror, nothing resembles the film. No Farquaad, Donkey, Fiona. I think you can see the dragon up there. Instead, you get anime egg, disco cow, realistic giant spiders, realistic giant rats, witch, egg, realistic cockroach, fucking gross. 
Witches, rats, spiders, they should have called this game... Boom! Haunted House! This feels like one of those straight-to-video knockoff fairy tales that sorta kinda looks official. I wouldn't be surprised if the developers created some dark fairy tale game and last minute paid for the license to use Shrek. And what was their excuse? This game came out six months after the film. You don't even hear Shrek speak, mainly since they couldn't afford Mike Myers, obviously. All Shrek does verbally is grunting. <laughs> I got a bit of a theory. Is it possible this game was in development during the early stages of Shrek? Look at how weird that sun looks. Its bloated cheeks would fit well with Shrek's old concept art. Hmm. Or maybe this was just some dark fairy tale video game with Shrek slapped on, given for how dark these environments are. God damn, man, I had to adjust the brightness for the sake of this review. Consider not many games in 2001 had that brightness adjustment meter built in like so many games today. By default, this game is just way too dark. I guess that's expected when Todd McFarlane was on board making characters. If you're in that car going 100 miles an hour to the wall, and you hit the wall, and you get this great big explosion, and you die, that's okay, because it was like, wow, that was a pretty cool looking death. But if you live through it, <gasps> it's a miracle. These missions on the other hand are either way too easy or impossible like this one. Collect the golden eggs. Sure, seems simple. Just enter the first stage if- Ah! Oh, what the fuck? Fuck, get over here you little voodoo Vince little shit. Bastard. Okay, collect the golden eggs. I got all but one that's up there. How do I get it? How? How damn it? Doesn't make sense. What am I supposed to do? Fuck! Come on! Shrek, jump! 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 The house is jumping! Crisscross make you jump! Damn it! Fuck! Holy shit! Save me, Jeffrey Katzenberg! Oh, thank Madoka. How about this one? Find the disco cow and fart on it. Why? That stupid cow. Every night she jumps over the moon and dances in my cornfield. I can't sleep at night. Shrek, do me a favor and pass some gas on her when she's out dancing. That'll teach her a lesson. I'm on my way, Shrek exclaimed. Let me remind you, the goal in this game is to do good deeds. The more good you do, the more levels you have access to. Your missions are all titled good deeds. How is farting on an animal contributing to society? Oh. I heard cows are the biggest producers of greenhouse gases for their bodily functions, so maybe this is environmentalist revenge. Destroy the ozone layer, will you? This one's for Al Gore. Come back here! I'm not finished with you! Damn! What we should do is retitle this game 100 Good Deeds of Shrek. Does anyone remember that show, 100 Good Deeds of Eddie McDowell? Let me talk about this for a second. This was an early 2000s Nickelodeon show where Seth Green played a bully until a wizard turned him into a dog and now he's a dog and has to do 100 good deeds to become human again. Look, I don't know what's going on, but I give, you win. I turned you into a dog, did you listen to my poem? This can't be happening. Which is such a ridiculous and un unbelievable concept, like really, Seth Green being a bully. If you're being bullied by Seth Green, game over. You might as well be getting bullied by Glass Joe, but back to Shrek. Here's a weird mission. Humpty Dumpty's kidnapped Mother Goose's eggs and is teaching them how to fall down, which will potentially kill them. That's fucked up. Okay, well, Dumpty in this game doesn't look too threatening. Oh, fuck, you wanna go? Run! Fuck! Yeah, you mess with me, you mess with my swamp! <laughs> He's already dead! Yeah, fucking take it, take it and breathe it in! Yeah, do what I do, I'm laid back, chicken it with that shack, black, jack of the yak, go for back, or get your freaking back, crack. With nose to your nose, when I roll to my shoulder, that's what happened to the last man that stepped on my door. No need to browse. You may now put the remote control down. Snicking requires no clicking. Some missions you'll be collecting the same thing. Example, these fairies. 
Oh. But many challenges require picking up and moving characters. It's tricky, you can hold on to most characters, but hold on to some for too long and they damage you. It's worse when other enemies will attack and knock what you're carrying off your hands as they swarm you. This would be easier if you could kill enemies, but you can't. Everyone just gets back up to continue attacking you. Stay down, Chumba Wamba! Get me out the window. Why can't I kill enemies? Would the game get an M rating? Mario can kill enemies. There's other games rated T for teen that allow you to kill enemies and innocent pedestrians in far more violent ways. The worst mission for me was the one where you have to toss prisoners through a window, breaking out potentially violent criminals. Sure, that sounds like a good deed. It wouldn't be so bad, but you can't aim the camera upwards while gaining momentum. It's freaking impossible. Get me out the window. Why? Just let them fly through the window. Come on. If you really want a challenge, you got race mode. It's the same missions, but with a time limit. Like less than a minute, you have no breathing room to mess up. You can't call yourself a Shrekspert until you complete these challenges. We should be playing this in tournaments. Who is the fastest Shrekker around? I am. You, you hit me. It's insane, like who could fucking do this? It's so overly difficult with how slippery these controls are, but rest not. There is a solution to the difficulty. If you have the two disc special edition of Shrek 1, it includes hints for the Shrek Xbox video game. There's no special features here. Okay, DVD menu, lend me your strength. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I never meant for that to happen, Jinji, I'm sorry. Okay, well, what are these hints? How do you throw a six foot knight over a 30 foot wall? Uh, just kick him? That's not a mission in the game. How do you cook a chicken? Okay. How do you knock out a knight? Use a hammer apparently. There's no hammer in the game. How do you pick up a spare on a 710 split? But what is this? There's no bowling in this game. <gasps> Wait, that's all? That's all the hints? What was the point of that? That didn't help at all. Why was that put in here? Like, it says for the Xbox game, and as the time this DVD was released, this was the only game of Shrek available. Why is this in here? It doesn't help with the game. It doesn't refer to anything in the actual game. Well, I, I guess it's not all that bad. You have to give it credit. In 2001, this was praised for its graphical capabilities. 3D bump mapping textures that responded to different lighting, real-time dynamic shadows, if you zoom into Shrek, his sleeves have a fabric-y texture to them. With how cartoonish Shrek is and realistic the environments try to be, this game looks like a Skyrim mod with Shrek in it. It's weirdly uncanny. Get me out the window. Attention all units. Suspect seen heading south. Block all major roads and capture the suspect. I feel this game is just short of being average. My two favorite genres of video games are extreme sports like Tony Hawk and 3D platformers, so I was expecting more out of this game, but it did have some fun elements as a platformer. I love the stupid sense of speed and double jumping. Also, more games need to let you pummel random characters for the hell of it. I'm tired of all these other games not letting you shoot your own teammates or friendly NPCs. Yeah, you lose the game and piss off your ugly friends, but sometimes you just just want to screw around. A lot of people believe this is an Xbox exclusive when that's not the case. This is the case for the GameCube port released a year later, Shrek Extra Large. A more refined version of the same game. He runs at normal speed, the missions are better explained, there's new levels added in, and they added more cutscenes. They still have no voice for Shrek, so Shrek kind of just stands there as people talk to him. You're here to steal candy from me too! Well, those blasted merry men took it all. It's been like this ever since the Ice Queen took over Sweetsville. And candy got scarce. I should know. I pass the village when I go to Granny. But that's not gonna happen again until I get my basket with candy back. I confess, no, I did not play the GameCube version myself since that requires paying more money. But looking at the gameplay footage, it's clear it's a much better version of the Xbox game. I may lose what little credibility I have for that, but I'll sleep well knowing I saved $3. Play me out, City Escape slash All-Star Remix I stole off of YouTube.
July 4th, America is celebrating Shrek. Yeah. If you've only seen it once upon a time, you haven't seen it all. Shrek. I met the president last night. Rated PG. Now playing everywhere. What's for lunch? It's Hungry Hungry Hippos!